okay, so we are here at the Grand Label Character uh, uh, Biodynamic Wine Festival in Zagreb. Uh, I, would like, uh, welcome, I would like to welcome Marko Kovac, who is the organizer and the soul all of all of this happening here. Uh, we, this is the second day of the festival. Yesterday it was in Ljubljana in Slovenia, now in Zagreb, Croatia. And probably this is the uh, well, the fruit of uh, your all time or all uh, working all this year. Yeah, this is uh, this is a project that we we have been building for the last uh, six seven months and uh, working uh, almost every day to make this happen because we have 70 wine growers from uh, all over Europe. Plus we have the great sake of Japan, so it really is a gathering of some people that are leading organic and biodynamic wine growers today in the world. And I'm very proud to bring them here to the region because this is for most of them the first time to be here, to be able to introduce them to uh, our uh, customers, to be able to introduce them to the wine public here. It's very important because what they do is the organic and biodynamic production, which is growing and is a very important thing for people's education. So I'm really, really proud and really thankful for everybody who came uh, to be here and to support us and the idea of spreading the organic way of uh, thinking beyond the borders. Yeah, uh, so it's uh, really a gospel for Croatia and the Balkans, you think? It's uh, for the whole region, you know, because people uh, need to learn more about wine, need to spread the knowledge. So uh, instead of people going to France for the festival, we bring the festival here. We make it here and it's very educational because the wine growers and the sommeliers and professionals, it's the first time that they come to chance to taste these wines. So it's very important for them to experience something new and maybe they have some, a new idea, a better idea of, of wine after this and uh, maybe this will give them some other idea of what they like to drink or what is good for them. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a good thing on many levels actually. So I talked to Dusan Jelic of Wines of Balkans before and he mentioned the wine revolution happening in the Balkan. So you did, do you think that it is part of the revolution or just the revolution itself? I, I wouldn't go that far to call it revolution or uh, maybe maybe a, a very uh, a very slow evolution, a very slow evolution towards wines that are more ambitious, to wines that are technically correct, more correct, to wines that are more serious, to wines that are uh, ready to be sold everywhere in the world. So the whole region is actually moving in, in this direction to produce wines that have more competence and the wines that uh, can be sold and can be put on any table in the world. So this is actually a part of the whole project. So this is where, for me, this is where the wine growers meet. The wine growers from uh, France and other parts, they meet with the gro wine growers from, uh, from this area. And they learn, they learn, it's a two-way process and they learn. So uh, events like this also have a bit, very big effect on how people think and how, what people, how they behave and what they will buy and, and well, but also how they will make wine and uh, whether they choose to maybe change the philosophy or uh, apply some small elements from this philosophy. So it's a good way. So that means that the visitors of the festival are not only wine lovers, but they are wine professionals, wine makers. It's everyone. Basically, we are open to everyone because we want people to taste wine, uh, for people to have new experience, to people to feel the energy here. Uh, all these guys here and girls, they are very, very, you know, they're very energetic people. They're very passionate. Uh, this is uh, wine making is what they live from. So for them, this is uh, everyday life. So we wanted to uh, give this part of the atmosphere to the public and to open it to everyone. So we have uh, the so sommeliers, the media, restaurant owners, chefs. Uh, all kinds of professionals, and uh, it's really, really uh, a very important event for us. So I must tell you that this uh, whole idea comes through from uh, from the winemakers. They are very friendly and safe. So just a words of compliment for you. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. I mean, you have to understand that they come here. You have to understand that this region is is a it's a small market. It's not a big market for them, but they come. You know. They decide not to go to Paris, they decide not to go somewhere else, they come here. And this is important for us. This is the support that's important for us. So most of them, or maybe all of them, are family 
own uh, uh, family winemakers of family estates. So they're, they're, I think all of them are. This is family-owned estates. This is uh, this has been in their family for uh, decades. Uh, uh, so it's uh, it's an emotional thing for them. It's an emotional project, very personal, eh? and that's how the wine is. It's very personal. It's with the character. So uh, that also means that uh, biodynamic way of thinking or doing wine is it? Uh, can, can, could it be applied to uh, larger wine estates, or it will be on the family level? I don't know. I'm not a I'm not a wine grower. Uh, I do not uh, sell. I do not produce wine. Uh, but uh, from my uh, current experience, uh, my current experience is that uh, usually the people who apply this philosophy are smaller estates. Our biggest uh, exhibitor here has 120 bottles, so it's very important uh, for them to keep the production low, to keep the to keep the quality big. So in my experience, it's mostly the smaller estates that actually successfully apply this philosophy. Okay, I saw one uh, big uh, producer of Croatian wines, Krauthaker. Uh, so he, his estate is beyond the family level. How do they do it then? Well, Krauthaker, they are a very interesting, uh, very interesting uh, wine growing family. And uh, the owner, Mr. Vlado Krauthaker, has actually started applying organic techniques recently in the last years to improve his production. And because he is the one of the rare people in Croatia who actually experiments always and always brings something new uh, and always tries to innovate. So he is now a pioneer, one of the pioneers in organic winemaking. And really the results are very good. So it's a bit of a paradox. He has on the one, one hand the, the big quantities and the big wineries, on the other hand, he's producing organically. But uh, that's because of him, because he's like this, because his soul, he's very passionate. And I would not be surprised that he would be moving the focus of his production to organic. Okay, thank you very much and thank you for the festival as well. Thank you, thank you. Thank you.